Hi, 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 hi. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Wow, it's an amazing morning here in Nigeria, and it's 7 a.m. Yes, so thank you so much. I already see the comments, you know, people are already joining us. I see all of the engagement. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful morning this morning. Okay, so my name is Sandra, and I'm a digital skills trainer with Impact R. And I have amazing personalities right with me on this call. I have um, Jane Francis and Johanna. So you, both of them are going to be right there in the comment session. Yeah, so if you have questions, you know, you have you know, anything that, that crosses your mind, just drop it right there in the comment session and familiarize yourself with them. Then also I have Judith. Judith is right here with me as well. She's at the back end, you know, ensuring that we have a similar session without any itch. Yes, yeah, so I'll, before I start, I also want to say um, special shout out to Dudu. Um, Dudu is the CEO and founder of Avid Avan Communications. And, you know, thanks to her, we are having this session with you ladies. And also to uh, Mentor Me Africa from also Zambia. We're partnering with them also on this training. Okay, so um, today we're going to be looking at how to build your brand and sell online. I know that most of us are business owners, yeah. Um, we have those businesses that we are running. So how do we properly put our brand together and ensure that we effectively sell online? But before I start, let me just say hello to some of us that are already on this call. So please do well to introduce yourself as you join, your name, where you're joining us from, and even the kind of business that you do. I put that right in the chat box. Okay, so I see Abigail. Abigail is joining from Zambia, and she's glad to be here. Thank you so much, Abigail, for taking your time to join us. Hello, Dudu. I see you here in the comment session. Dudu is joining from South Africa, and she's looking forward to this session. Thank you so much, Dudu, for joining us. Good morning. Um, Sanale. Sanale is joining from South Africa. Hello, Sanale. Thank you so much for joining. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, so we have um, Rita Bele. Pardon me if I don't pronounce these names right. So sorry. Join, also joining from South Africa. Glad to have you here today. Um, I have um, Evelyn. Evelyn is joining from South Africa. Good morning, Evelyn. Thank you for joining. I have Rebecca from Zambia. I have Buko, Bukula Asanda joining from Randburg. I have um, Unchawaka joining from Zambia. I have Longo. I have Busi join. Okay, Busi. Then I have Umbali. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining. Um, let me just mention some more names. I have Ra Ramo Sime. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, I have Sonny also. Sonny, Sonny, looking forward to hosting you at our guest staff. Mm, okay, thank you so much, Sonny, for joining. Um, Charlie, good morning. Thank you for joining. Oh, thank you, Dudu. Thank you. Good morning. Um, hello, hello, Kabeleka. Permit me, sorry. Joining from Zambia. Um, we have Molala, also joining from South Africa. We have Irene. Irene joining from Zambia. Guys, thank you so much. I might not be able to pronounce every uh, call out everybody. Uh, we have Chimuka. We have Busi. We have Ta Taonga. We have Longo. We have Gamma. Guys, it's a pleasure to have you guys here this morning. Thank you so much. So like I said, we are going to be looking at how to build your brand and sell online. So I'm going to be asking some questions during the course of this training. These questions are going to pop up right there on your screen. So please do well to, you know, give answers to them just so you know there are no wrong answers. So do not be shy, you know, do not uh, hesitate to answer some of all those questions I'll be asked. And like I said before, Please also do well to ask questions. Myself and my team would be available to you know to answer all of these questions. And again, the certificate link is also going to be dropped towards the end of the session. Yes, the certificate link is going to be dropped towards the end of the session. Now, if you do not stay to the end of the session, you might not be able to get your certificate because the link is only going to be dropped right here, right um in the chat box here. Yeah? So it's not going to be sent to anybody. Yeah, so this link is going to be dropped right in the chat box. So please stay to the end of the session so that you can fill the, um, the form and you can get the certificate for today's session. 
Okay, so let's start. So like I said, we're going to be looking at how to build your brand and sell online. Now we have three main agendas that we're going to be looking at today. The first one is how can you establish your brand online? What are the things that you need to put together to, you know, to build this brand? We are business owners. Yeah, how do we move our business to the next level? Then also we're going to be looking at how to develop your e-commerce offering. What are the steps? What are the things that you need to know? You know to put together your own e-commerce and also how to effectively utilize social media to drive sales at the end of the day as business owners what do we need we want to also you know be able to make sales you know reach more people so that we can make more money yeah? so we're going to be looking at all of this right into the session so my question is this like i mentioned they're going to be seeing questions like this pop right in your screen so what you need to do is answer the question so how do you currently market your business so as a business owner i want to be aware i've not seen anybody tell me what they do right in the chat but if you have a business how do you currently market your business and even though you don't have a business yet you intend to start one yeah how do you think you would market your business when you start so i want to see all of those in the chat box how do you currently market your business um thank you so much irene thank you um hello gamma okay thank you so how do you currently market your business please put it right there in the chat box how do you currently market your business okay so i see um Kabeleka, she says she uses Facebook and WhatsApp. Amazing. Thank you so much for that response. She uses Facebook and WhatsApp. And Facebook and WhatsApp are amazing platforms that, as a business owner, you have to, you know, leverage on. Um, Tumelo says social media and word of mouth. Yes, word of mouth. Word of mouth can never be overemphasized, trust me, because you meet people every day. You want to tell them, oh, this is what I do. This is my social media platform. I sell quality this and all of that. Do you understand? So word of mouth is also a very good one. Um, okay, so Grace says she's in social media, Instagram and Facebook. Amazing. Thank you for that. Banda says Instagram and Facebook and also WhatsApp. Yes, WhatsApp is also a very good platform, yeah, because why you have lots of, you know, family, friends, you know, acquaintances, all of them right there on your social media contact. So they can all, they can even be the first set of people to buy from you or to patronize whatever product or services that you are offering. So that's also a very good one. Um, Kagis, Kagiso, I'm so sorry for that. Um, word of mouth and social media, amazing. Simon says social media, NCB says social media, um, Rosario says, uh, okay, joining from Mozambique, good morning, thank you for joining us. Dudu says she is LinkedIn and Twitter, amazing. Um, Asanda, word of mouth on social media, great, great, great responses, guys, great responses. Um, good TV say, I use social media platforms, do physical activations and word of mouth, amazing, that's, that's a very good one right there. Um, Charlie says Facebook and Twitter an online newsletter mm, nice one newsletter very very good as well um ramosi may say social media instagram and facebook great thank you so much guys i see all of the responses please keep them coming while we continue so like i said the first agenda that we are going to be looking at today is how to establish your brand online before we continue, one more question. So uh, my question is this, what benefits are brought to businesses by going online? So all of you use all of the social media platforms, yeah? What are the benefits that you have gotten? Do you think increase in sales? Did you get to reach more people? Whatever it is, let me know right there in the chat box. What benefits have you gotten or are brought to businesses by just going online? Yeah, I see all of the responses. Um, I will say she uses Facebook, WhatsApp, and words of mouth. And also my satisfied customer do them for her. Nice. Um, my question, what benefit are brought to businesses by going online? Oh, Salim has said easy access to potential clients. Good response. Wonderful response. Thank you so much. You get to meet more people. You get to easily, actually, because we have lots of people that are actually online. Yeah? So you get to meet more people. Um, Tumelo says, reaching more people and cheaper, very, very cheap, trust me, compared to the traditional means of marketing, where, you know, you have to take your ads to the television television station or to the radio station, but right here online, you can run ads at a very cheaper rate, and you also get to meet lots of people. 
amazing response there. Um, Sanale says, access to easy markets. Amazing response. Yes, access to easy markets. As I say, increased reach. Um, Pablo said, the posts continue bringing leads as people see them. Trust me, that's a very also good response. Um, Kagiso say, includes clients and referrals. Referral, very key. That's because you give, you know, great quality customer service. Definitely, they would want to refer people to come and get for you. So, referral is on point. Um, brand awareness. Yes, people get to know that you exist as a brand. Thank you so much for all of these responses. Um, Cook TV says, increase the market. Customers from online critiques that helps to improve my business. Yes, amazing. That's a, that's a very good one. Feedback. You also get feedback from you know people that helps you improve on your business tells tells you what and what that you need to you know make your business a better world amazing low budget marketing yes you can run ads for, for as low as a dollar that's just it a dollar thank you so much guys i see all of these amazing responses it just tells me that you guys are where you are in the know and you are also following now let's move on now let's see why businesses are going online why is it important for you as a brand for you as a business to take your business you know from the traditional means to the online space now it says that there's 1.79 billion people shopped online last year 1.79 billion people shopped online last year so that tells you that even during covid that was in 2022 when covid came sorry 2020 rather when covid came you knew a lot of a lot of um, lots of businesses had to move you know online and people had to start buying you know because um shops offices were on lockdown people had to migrate from you know their their um, physical store to their online store and started selling so there were lots of business lots of um, what's it called now buying and selling that were, that were happening right there online do you understand so these are the number of people that you can also penetrate to do you understand when taking your business online and it also says that 97 percent learn more about a business online than anywhere else i'm among the 97 percent. i don't even know about you but the truth is if i'm meeting any of you for the first time and you're telling me this is what you do or this is what your business is all about yeah the first thing i need to do is go online and see most of the products and the services that you render and how are people actually interacting with them do you understand i want to get feedback from your customers i want to be able to read you know what some of the things that you've done i want to be able to learn more about your business so it just tells you now more people go online 97 percent of people learn more about a business online than anywhere else and it says that by 2040 95 percent of purchases will be through e-commerce so as a business owner i know that lots lots of time uh as a business person you do not think of you know creating this e-commerce platform for yourself because you feel that you do not need it but trust me we are already going to the space where shops might not even people might not even be renting shops anymore or even owning shops or even if they own shops but they will own you know an online store as well where people can just go into patronize make payments and all you need to do is just make deliver delivery do you understand so by 2040 before 2040 this is 2022 you need to start putting all of these plans in place how do you ensure that okay before 2040 you've been able to you know create this e-commerce website where people can just walk, go into and make buy um pick whatever they want to buy make payments and you know you deliver to them so these are things that we need to look into and this is the reason why people or businesses are going online now how do businesses use the internet the businesses use the internet to sell just the way some of you do you sell using the internet you can also buy using the internet buy in the sense that so for instance um, um i sell let's say i sell shoes and i necessarily did not have to go all the way to turkey or go to china to get all of this product i can buy them online and they ship down to me to my country do you understand so you can buy you can sell even you yourself can even buy maybe you will have a dress you you will have a party you want to go for you don't have the dress or the shoe or the accessories that you want to use you can go online purchase all of these things and they deliver to you so you can sell and buy products you can advertise yeah you can advertise on instagram you can advertise on facebook whatever of the, whatever platforms that you market your business you can use all of those platforms to, to advertise you reach more customers yes people get to know that your your business exists that actually when you run ads you reach more customers and also 
you research your competition your competitors are right there trust me do not overlook them yes because the truth is you are not the only one doing this business that you do you have lots of people also doing the same business so you have to take time to research about your competitors you know look at what they are doing well what are, what are the things they are also not doing well so that you do not make their own mistakes do you understand so you can use the internet to research your competitors now why do you need to build an online presence why is it important for you to build an online presence one is very essential for you as a business person to have an online presence whether it's a website whether it's an e-commerce platform whether it's a social media platform or even the three of them yes you can have all three of them it is beneficial to your own business trust me like you can see we have um, examples of these businesses right here on your screen we have invalid designs we have juma actors you know they have their own website you can easily just go on their website and look at what they are offering what their business is all about, um, all about and you know this helps you in terms of you know getting more awareness you know your business getting um getting noticed do you understand reach more people that is this is the reason why you have to build an online presence now there are different types of platforms that are available the first is you owning your own website i know that you use, people used to think you know gone are the days where people think that oh it's website is very expensive to get do you understand but now it's, it's made it very easy for you to even own a website now you have wordpress and you have wix those are website builders that you can you know use to create your own website now we have google my business when you get listed on google my business or when you get signed up on google my business you can also get a free website when signing up you know there's a particular question that asks um that says oh do you have a website if you do not have one you can you know let google create a website for you so these are means you can use to create your own website. You see that getting a website is not that difficult anymore. And even this website builder, you know, this website has been created. All you need to do is just do some editing, some drag and drop, some arrangement, you know, to best suit your own business. Do you understand? Then also social media platforms, like lots of us are already on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all of those platforms. Yeah, it's, a, it's a also a very interactive platform that you can also use to access large audiences. Trust me. Then also we have online directory. An online directory simply is um, an online list that, that categorizes businesses based on niche, based on location, you know, the size and all of that. And one thing about online business directory that I also love is, you know, when you go on that platform, you see different types of businesses. So for instance, I want to travel to... Um, let's say South Africa, and I go to an online business directory in South Africa, yeah? and what I do is, I look at, for instance, I, I have some places I want to visit, but because I, I'm new, I don't know where and where to visit, I just go there and look at, okay, um, best re um, best restaurants, maybe the best hotels, uh, maybe where I can go for sightseeing and all of that. You will see them listed there. Do you understand? So this is what an online directory helps your business do. When you get listed in an online directory, people can easily find you on those platforms. Then also e-commerce platform. E-commerce platform allows you to sell your products or services online, just the way you have um, Amazon, you have um, Magento. Magento is in South Africa. You have Shopify as well. Do you understand? All of these e-commerce platform, you can you know sell and buy your product. Now, let's see what e-commerce has been in Africa. Now it says we have we have 400, 400 million internet users in Africa, and we are second to China, only second to China. So we, you see that Africa also have the largest internet users. And you just imagine you um, as a business person. Let's say you started small, and you are looking at okay, in the next ten years, I want to be able to you know make deliveries outside. Um, what's it called? You want to be able to make deliveries in Africa. Do you understand? This is the numbers that you will be plugging yourself to. Now, also, it says that um, the Africa will make 10% of um, global retail sales with an estimated value of $75 billion by 2025. And I'm sure that this 10% is even going to increase and the amount because lots of people are migrating online. They are moving online. Trust me, they are moving online. And it says that in 2017, africa africa generated um a revenue of 16.5 billion dollars from e-commerce do you see why you need to move online 
I hope, do you see why you also need to create your own e-commerce platform? It is very easy. I have a friend of mine that, you know, that sells bags, she sells, you know, ladies' stuff. She recently just created that e-commerce platform, yeah? And you need, you need to see when she when she wants to run sales, you know, all the sales that you do, 20, 20 to 30% um, discount, and she's directing people to our website from our social media platform. You need to see traffic. Do you understand? And it makes it very easy. You know, people are not bombarding you with so many questions or trying to bargain or say, oh, uh, what about what's the last price? I'm not I not pay 10000 for this. I will pay 5000 You know, they are not doing all of All those conversations would not be happening. So it makes it very, very easy and stress-free for you as a business owner. People just go to your e-commerce site, purchase, you know, make payments, and all you need to do is just make delivery. Now, let's see examples of e-commerce platforms that we have. We have Amazon right here. If Amazon is in South Africa, you can also buy and make and also sell right there on those platforms. We have Conga. Conga is one of Nigeria's leading e-commerce platforms. We have Jumia. Jumia is also, you know, um, in South Africa as well, in Zambia as well. Yeah, all of these platforms you can also leverage on. I know for some e-commerce platforms, we have Magento, we have Shopify right there in um south africa that you can also leverage on you know plug yourself in those platforms put up you know sign up with them put up your business and see that people will get to know that your business exists then we also have um online marketplaces where you can sell your products we have kilomore kilomore is an online marketplace in kenya we have bidobai bidobai is an online marketplace in south africa bid or buy so i'm sure you guys are aware of this um bid or buy platform Yes, it's an online marketplace that offers you a convenient way for people to buy or sell virtually. Do you see? Virtually. That, is, that means online. So you need to, you know, plug yourself to this online market space. And we have Gigi. Gigi is also in Zambia and also in South Africa. Africa, basically, anyways, that you can also sell your product and buy. Now, I know I already explained what online business directory means, but let's, uh, let's also see, you know, what um examples of them we have but the um the main definition of online directory simply means it's an online business directory is a website which lists businesses based on categories businesses are categorized based by by niche location activity or size on the platform so they can be easily searched and found i already explained this and we have some of the examples we have um yellow pages of africa we have africa business pages yes you can also get listed on all of these platforms now how do you get listed on an online business directory all you need to do is visit their site register your business details what your, what, what your business is all about your contact details how do you want them to reach you do you want them to reach you by call by emails by messaging wherever it is let them know right there then business sector what sector is your business currently in are you um in the fashion sector are you in the health sector you know whatever sector it is ensure that you put it there and your country slash region if you're in the east africa if you're in south africa you're in the west africa you're in zambia whatever it is put your country and put your region right there why why is it important for you to do all of this um fill all of this question because when someone gets to um africa business pages for instance you know they want to check for businesses if you have your um details well registered and all of it you get to pop up right there when they search for businesses related to yours you get to be found so it is very important that you you know answer all of these questions and put in the right details now how do you also get on get your business on social media on facebook on instagram on twitter on linkedin all of those platforms all you need to do is sign up add pictures yes you need to add pictures so those pictures are what people would see you know to um to to understand what your business is all about so you need to add pictures then create your own username you know this unique special username that people can easily use to find you then add your business details yeah so I hope we've been able to explain all of that. I'm going to be posting for questions right now. So if you have questions, please put it right there in the chat. It's time for questions. Please put it right there in the chat. I'll be glad to take your questions. How do I? OK, OK. I think that has been answered. Um, questions, guys, questions. Uh, I want to believe that we are following. Yeah, Dudu says online is the way to go. Yes, correct. 
Asanda says online presence is the future of facts. That's that's on period. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah, so you have to, you know, be able to move your business online if you are not there yet. So do we have questions if you have questions please put it right there in the chat yeah okay so um since there are no questions let's you know move into the next agenda please excuse me okay so the next thing we are going to be looking at is how to develop your own e-commerce offering how do you develop your own e-commerce offering? What are the steps? What do you need to put together to have your own e-commerce? I'm sure that that particular question is ringing in your head. I don't know why you're not asking me. Yeah, I've spoken about e-commerce. So how do you, you know, start up your own e-commerce? Now, the first thing is you need to pick a domain. Yes. So what is a domain? I, I usually explain domain as an address. So for instance, I'm meeting Dudu for the first time. Maybe we are meeting... Um, Maybe we met February at shop, right? Yeah, and Dudu wants me to come to visit her. What does Dudu need to do? She needs to give me an address, yeah, that would direct me to her place. So that is what I, I always, I usually um, explain the domain as. The domain is an address where customers can use to access your website. So for instance, where you have facebook.com, you have google.com, you have gmail.com, those are domain names. You know when you click on all of those links all of those um domain it takes you to the website so that you need to do whatever you want to do you want to chat with your friend on facebook you want to sign up on gmail all of all those things that is what a domain does and domain are usually very unique all you need to do is register your domain before you can use it and where can you get these domains you can get domains from africa domains you can get from google domains you can get from godaddy you can get from ugo host you can get from blue host domain king you can secure a name your domain name from any of those platforms. Like I mentioned, GoDaddy, Google Host, Blue Host, Google, Google Domain, Domain King. You can get your you can secure your domain from all of those platforms. Now, this next thing you need to also look at is website builders. How do you create your own website? We have like I mentioned before, we have website builders, builders that have made it very easy for you to create your own website with little with, with little effort or coding skills you don't really need coding skills for it yeah and with platform that, like this anyone can achieve a professionally designed website so you can use wix you can use websites you can use google sites yeah and also even like i mentioned google my business yes you can also get your own um website from all of these sites now you have to be able to utilize and customize you know your website with templates that have been asked them given to you on those website builders so we have web the site templates are a big part of what makes website builders very very easy to use so with templates you can get all of the basic structures and designs for your website yeah and you can use them to put your website into place now when choosing a template consider if the basic structure is in line with what you want and need on your website now Whatever, whatever template that you have decided to use, you have to ensure that it suits you up to your business is all about. Do you understand? If you want, if you are into um, hospitality business, maybe hotels and all of that, you know, look for templates that suits that. Do you understand? Now, step three, upload content. Content, content, content. Content is important. It is key. This is what people would see when they visit your website. Do you understand? So figure out what pages your website needs then each page of your website needs to have original content. Please put together original content, content that you create for yourself, for your brand. It could be in images, it could be in text, it could be in videos, whatever, it, it, whatever you want to use, you know, it has to communicate what your product and your brand is all about. As you can see, the examples right there on your screen, you have Jumia Atos, you have Invalid Designs. These are, you know, content that they put on their own website. So when you visit their website, it just tells you what their business or what their brand is all about. Now, quickly, let's look at some of the best practices that you can adopt when creating content for your website. The first thing you need to consider is prioritize your audience. Prioritize your audience. Put your, your audience first. Understand your customers. Do you understand? Then it helps you when you understand your customers. It helps you frame your website in a way that focuses on how your product or services helps solve your customers' problems and makes their lives easier. So you have to understand your customers, prioritize them. What do they want? What do they really want to see? 
yes, it's your business, but the business is not just about you. You are trying to offer your services. You are trying to sell out your products. Do you understand? So you have to put your, your, your customers first. Then also research your competitors. I've mentioned this before. Take a little time to research your website. So research other websites that are similar to yours. Look at what they are doing. How can you make sure that you stand out? What is your own unique selling point? What makes you what makes you stand out? What makes you special? Why should I buy from you? Or why should I stop at your own, or your own website and take that action that you want me to take? Do you understand? So you have to take a little time to research your competitors so that by the time you research them, you've done your own market, you've done your own market research, you've seen okay, the mistakes that they are making. You can now you know go ahead, improve on your own brand, and do not make that mistake that they have made. So it helps you. Then also learn search engine optimization basics. Basically, so what is it? SEO? SEO just simply allows you to increase your chances of ranking in search engines like Google. Yeah, like um, like um, like yeah, exactly like just like Google on search engines like Google. You know, when people search for businesses related to yours, you get to pop up right there in search. So this is what SEO does. And you know what I can also say is go and look for um search um seo tutorials you know right there online free online platforms where you can learn more about the basics do you understand that incorporates seo into what you write on each of your website pages yes you need to incorporate them so that when you know each of your website when people now search for businesses like yours you get to pop up right there in search now, how can you go above and beyond with e-commerce plugins? Now, let's quickly look at some of these e-commerce plugins that we have. We have promotion and discount code tools. So, for instance, now let's see. Um, let me use Jumia for for um, example because we have, lots of us, you know, um, have, have visited Jumia sites. Maybe wanted to buy one thing or the other. Now, you go on this site. Actually, during December, I don't know if you or during when you have all the days and all of that. You see um, lots of discounts, 50%, 60%. Those are plugins that were added to their site. Trust me. So these are plugins that you can also add to your site. So if, for instance, you're having, maybe there's an, uh, there's a, there's a holiday in, um, in South Africa or in Zambia. I don't know most of the holidays that you have. You can decide you want to do maybe a 10 or 15% discount. Yeah? And you have those plugins to your website. People get, when they, when they visit, Maybe they visited another site and that site is not even offering maybe the discount. And they come to your site, yours is cheaper. They will buy it from you. Then also make it very easy for people to check out. Do not ask so many questions. Yes, I've seen, I've visited some websites where, some e commerce sites where you want to make purchase, and there's a long list of questions that you have to answer. Excuse me. There's a long list of questions where you have to, where, what you have to answer, yeah? Do not make it very difficult for people to answer all of these questions or make it very difficult for them to check out. So you have to ensure that you make it very easy. Go straight to the point. What are the informations that you need? And let them fill that up. Then incorporate search engine optimizations to your website. Yes, that plugin is very important. Why? Because when people search for businesses like yours, you get to pop up right there in search engines. Now, also integrate email marketing. Email marketing is also very important. So when you have, as a business owner, you have um, new products, new services, or you want your customers to be updated on what's trending in your space, all you need to do is just, you know, send them, you know, emails. So you have all of these emails put together. Maybe you've told them to subscribe to your newsletter, you know, whatever. You have all of these emails. You use, you can also, it's MailChimp. You can integrate MailChimp right into your, um, into your e-commerce. And, you know, very easy for people to, for you to send emails to people. Then, also add multiple payment options yes so it could be ussd could be your card could be transfer what it, it could be um what was it what's other platforms that you can also use to make payment whatever it is yeah look out for payment options that you have in your country that makes it very easy for people to pay and do not and do not just add one payment option gonna the days where you just put just card your bank your, just and pay with your card mm -mm. What, what, what if a customer visits your e-commerce site, they've added to cards, they've picked all, the, all of the things they want to buy. Now they get to the payment option and the only payment option that you've provided for them is paying with their cards. Now they are trying to put in their card details and it's not working. What happens? The person who opts out is not buying anymore because it's having difficulties paying. Do you understand? But if you have different payment options, you know, if card isn't working, you can, the person can be able to make transfer 
or whatever you know payment options that you have in your country you can also put that integrate that you know into your own e-commerce um sites and makes it very easy for them to make payments now where do you download all of these plugins from you can download from woocommerce you can download from digital it's a digital downloads and you can download from wordpress e-commerce these are where you can get plugins from now how do you ensure that your website is mobile friendly why do you even have to ensure that your website is mobile friendly and you can see the guy right on your screen what is he doing he's holding his phone he just tells you that people are always on the go with their phones whatever they are doing is searching for one information or the other they're trying to make a purchase they're trying to chat trying to meet people whatever it is they are always doing that on their phones people are always on the go with their phones that is why you have to ensure that your website is mobile friendly so it helps people to be able to navigate through your website easily without any age now looking at the statistics it says that in 2021 which was last year we had 2.4 billion, 2.41 billion people that shopped online worldwide in 2021. 2.41 billion people. I'm even sure the number actually even increased more than this because trust me, from 2021 to 2020 and 2021, we had lots of people that you know that moved online, and there are lots of businesses happening online. Yes, and it says that we have um, across Nigeria, across South Africa, and in Kenya. We have 21 million online shoppers across these three countries. So imagine you're a business person and maybe you, 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 you've been selling or you have a business in South Africa. You're looking at expanding the next five years. And you want to expand you know, your business to Nigeria. You want to expand to Kenya. This is a number that you would also be plugging yourself into. 21 million people shopped online. There are, there are 21 million online shoppers. Do you know what that means? People are always shopping. People are buying or doing one thing or the other with their phones. And it says that 50% of customers shop more on mobile than in store. Yes, I already mentioned that. People, I, someone like me, I do like visiting stores. Maybe the only reason why I probably want to visit the store is to probably see varieties or maybe just go for window shopping or just go out. Yeah. But I want to make purchase. I, I I have verified people that I, I've verified people that I, buy, I want to buy something from. I buy online. So 50% of customers shop more on mobile than in store. Now, how do you check if your mobile, if your mobile is friendly, your website is mobile friendly? So all you need to do is visit g.co forward slash test my site. G.co forward slash test my site. Um, Johanna or Jane is going to be dropping this link right in the chat box. So you, what, what you know to do is click on the link. You will see a box more like a search engine. Or you, when you have a domain, put in your domain there and test your mobile speed. That's basically what you need to do. So when you try to test your mobile speed and see, you know, if you if it's um if it's if it's good enough or if you need to optimize it. Do you understand? okay so we are done with this um i don't know if you have questions again for me if you have questions please put in right there yes online shopping is very very convenient trust me no stress at all thank you so much for that any questions for me um lulu says online is the game changer trust me yes it is um bridger said online makes life easier and cheaper in a way Good insights. Thanks. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. Um, questions, guys. Questions. Um, someone says, someone's asking, which payment options are accessible across Africa? Hmm. I really don't know, but I feel that you should also consider your location so that it makes it very easy. Or maybe go on Google and see, you know, the ones that you can use. Um, I know of one. I can't really remember the, the name of that particular one. You can actually pay using those sites. But maybe in the next class, I will see an answer. Or if Johanna knows that, Johanna can please do well to answer that question right in the chat. Maybe probably go on Google and see. Then um, put, put the answer right there in the chat so that others can also learn. Um, Shamala is saying, how do I market myself online as a private tutor? Shamala, I feel that one, what I would advise again is 
you know, create a social media platform for yourself. So I don't know if you have a social media platform. Now, what you can do again is because I know I follow some tutors in, on Instagram, yeah. So um, like virtual trainings, you know, make videos of some of the teachings that you do, post them on, on Instagram or on Facebook, you know, all about the, your, your, the kids that you train or whether you're training, you know, show all of those, all, the, all, the, all of those teachings, the kids when they're answering questions, you know, look for a way to create content around your business, around the teachings that you do and, you know, paste on social media, run ads so that people can also see that your business exists. So that's basically it. Um, Chimuka says we are following interesting insight. Thank you so much for that. Um, questions. Yeah, thank you so much, Dudu. PayPal, that was what I was thinking about, but it skipped my mind. PayPal, yeah, PayPal is, uh, you know, uh, um, a, uh, what's it called? A payment platform that you can leverage on, you can utilize across Africa. PayPal is also a very good one. Yeah, Flutter Wave, yes, Flutter Wave also. You can use Flutter Wave. PayPal is very great, trust me. Yeah, you can use PayPal. Thank you so much, Dudu, for that. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so the own guy is saying, how do I handle multiple platforms online? Ideally, different platforms require different style, con style content. E.g. Facebook, more theory, Insta, more pictures related. Thank you so much for that. Now, but that's even the next part of our session where we are going. So I'm going to be explaining more on that. Now, I know that it can be very, you know, um, what's it called now? Overwhelming when you have different platforms. Now, the truth is, I would, I would say that you start with one, yeah? Start with one. When you start with one, you have seen how that works. You know, you've been able to um, um, navigate through it. Then you can now open another. It can be really overwhelming when you have different platforms. You need to post on Twitter, you need to post on Facebook, you need to post on Instagram and all of that. Start with one first, yeah? Create this content and, you know, look at how you can create content for each of, each and, uh, each of those platforms. Because trust me, they work differently. They need different strategies. Do you understand? So I don't say start with one first. When you start, when you start with one, you know, you know how to, you know, use the other. Is Flutter Wave a mobile or card-based platform? It's it's an online payment platform. It's not card. You don't have you don't need a card. It's mobile, yeah. You don't need a card at all for Flutter Wave. There's another one again I'm trying to think about. I can't really remember. There's another one that you can also use. But when, once it comes to mind, I'll mention that. Okay, so let's quickly move to the third um, part of our training today. So this is the last part of our training today, which is to utilize social media to drive sales. Um, like I mentioned in the, um, in the beginning, the certificate link is going to be dropped towards the end of the session. Now, do not leave the session. Do not leave the session so that you get to feel the link. Right, the link is going to be posted in the chat box, so you don't miss it because the link is not going to be sent to anybody. You have to click the link to be able to fill the form right here in the chat. So do not miss that. So let's take a okay. My first question is: How can social media benefit your business? How can social media benefit your business, or what are the benefits that you have gotten, you know, or your business have gotten by just using social media? Please put your answers right in the chat. What are the benefits that you have gotten or your business have gotten by just using social media? I'm waiting for your responses. What are the benefits that your business have gotten by just using social media? Brand awareness. Thank you so much, Tonga, for that. Grace, thank you so much. Brand awareness. Any other person before we move on? Brand awareness. Any other person before we move on? Okay, so let's move on while I wait for your responses. Okay, I think I see one more. Um, Duke saying, before advertising my product, how can I know that I have dropped them on a gen on a genuine site? So it depends on the means of ad advertisement you want to do. So are you trying are you going to be uh, you want to advertise on Instagram? If you're advertising on Instagram. You are just advertising there. And the thing again is Instagram is linked to your Facebook, to, the, to your business page. Do you understand? So your ad runs on Instagram and it can also run on Facebook. So it just depends on where exactly you want to run your ads. If it's on Google, if, it's, if you are running ads with Google, Google would also help to ensure that your ads get to different sites that they 
you know, they partner with? Do you understand? So that's a very great question. Did you say it's cross border awareness? Thank you for that. Asanda says contact on social media, share and re reshare post. Nice. Duke says more customers. Shamala says visibility about what I provide as services. Great. Um, Ramo Sime says great interaction with customers. Amazing. Thank you so much, ladies, for all of those feedback. Um, Chimoka says Kanenga. I'm sorry, Chimuka Kanenga says, reaching a large audience at a cheap cost. Thank you so much for all of these responses. Now, let's see some of the benefits of using social media. Now, the first thing is to generate more sales. Now, generate more sales. Before you can generate more sales, you need to be able to reach more people. Yeah? Now, these people that you have reached, they see what you do, they, they, they like what they see, they make, they, they make purchase. Do you understand? Another thing, again, is to create new opportunities. Don't just you know stay where you are. Look for things that are trending. Look for new uh, new opportunities. Bring the other people. You see people you know come to you and patronize from you. Then the next is to add value to your brand. First, raise customer service level. So if your customer service level is below, if your customer service is below, let's say eighty five percent, you need to see how you can um, um, raise your customer level higher. So you get feedback from your customers. Let me let them telling you that oh your customer service isn't isn't great isn't this isn't that you need to see how you can improve on that. Then start a two way communication, a two way conversation with your customer. Don't just let them buy and sell. Mm -mm. Create content that makes them interact with you. Do you understand? If you have to go live on Instagram or on Facebook, you know have this live session with them. Do that. It helps. Do you understand? Then also gain valuable customer insight. I think I already mentioned that you creating feedback, you getting feedback rather from your customer, get insights from them so that it helps you improve on your brand. Then also improve your marketing. Improving your marketing, you can be able to target specific types of customers. It helps you to improve your marketing. So when you want to run ads on Facebook or you want to run ads on, um, on Instagram, you can target specific type of customers so that you know you can you can see the result that you want to see. It helps you improve your marketing. Then the next is to build relationship and network. You can build relationship, business to business relationship, collaborate with people that even does the same thing with you. I see what people doing on Instagram now. Let me give you, let me give you the secret. So you have someone that is selling that sells dresses. Yeah, she just sells dresses. She doesn't sell shoes. Now, there's another person that is selling shoes. Now, what they do on Instagram is they collaborate. So you see them come together to make content. We are in the dress and we are in the other person's shoes and make a video of make a meet video of themselves and put it right there on their page. So you see they tag the shoe brand and they tag the um the clothing brand. So you can collaborate with businesses that run the same thing. Maybe in same if you are in the fashion sector, you can collaborate with businesses that are in the fashion sector and you know make content or, or videos or posts for your customers yeah then also build your own customers you know this build this customer loyalty around your business let people know you see the genuine genuity of your own business do you understand so you you, you can be able to build this customer loyalty then also stay competitive how do you stay on top of your game these are the benefits that you would get from using social media now how do you set up your own social media strategy this is a particular place that you have to very listen carefully now we have your audience who are your audience who are these people that you are targeting what are your business goals what are the goals that you are considering that you've put down what are the social media platforms that you've considered that you want to use for your business the tone of voice for your business and what success means to you now let's look at all of this in details now, your audience, who are your audience? Who are you trying to target? Who are you selling to? What are they interested in? Who and what influences them? These are questions you need to be asking yourself so that you can be able to put your own social strategy in place. Do you understand? When are they usually online? You also, you also want to figure out when your customers are usually online so that when you make posts, do you understand? You, you don't, maybe for instance, your customers are usually online, maybe during the day. You don't want to make posts at night where you won't get lots of engagement. And you know how all of the social media platform is. The news feed, once they've missed it, they've missed it. Do you understand? So you need to post. If your customers are usually online, you've noticed that you get lots and lots of engagement during the day. 
make sure that that is when you are making your post. Then which social media do they use? Are they on, do they use Facebook more? Do they use Instagram more? Look at all of those social media platforms. Where, what, what, where can you really find your customers? If you are looking, if you sell or you render services for people that are above 35, 40 years, you get most of them on Facebook. Lots of them have Facebook. But if you are also use, um, you are targeting, you know, people below the age of, uh, let's say, from 16 to 30, you know, you can use Instagram. You can also use Facebook. Yeah, but you find them more on Instagram. So you have to be able to see, find out, or look at where you can find some of your customers. Do you understand? These are questions you need to ask yourself. Then how do you define your goals? Is your goal to give better customer service? Is your goal to grow brand awareness? Is your goal to generate more sales? Is your goal to get more people on your site or connect with influencers? Whatever your goal is, you need to ensure that you've written it down on your board. I know that lots of people just open businesses. They don't have goals. They just, okay, let me just sell. You need to be able to define your goals so that when you are not meeting, you know, all of these goals, you can be able to go back to the drawing board and say, okay, um, what are the things that I'm not doing well? What are the things I need to improve on? Do you understand? So define your goals. Then pick a platform. Like um, one of us already asked, I can't remember the name. One of us already asked, you know, in terms of, you know, ensuring that you create different strategy for all of these platforms. How do you pick a platform? The first thing is you need to focus on one. Start with one first. Test it. Learn it. And try another. Do you understand? When you are starting up a business, you do not have to open all of the social media platform. It can be very overwhelming. I've been there before, yes. You need to post here, you need to look up. You know, it's very, it can be very, very overwhelming. So it's time we want tested. And the truth is, she, like she already mentioned, this platform requires different, this different channels require different strategies. Yes, the way you market on Facebook is different from the way you market on Instagram and different from the way you market on Twitter. So they, they require different strategies. Now, how do you define your brand social voice? So as a brand, you have to be able to create your own brand guidelines. Yes, create your own brand guidelines. What are your to-dos? What are your do's and don'ts? Do you have a logo for your business? I many of us have a logo for our business. If you have a logo for your business, please let me know in the comment section. If you have a logo for your business, let me know in the comment section. If you don't have a logo, let me know. So if you have a logo, give me a one. If you don't have a logo give me a two if you have a logo give me a one if you don't have a logo give me a two now it's very important for you to create a logo for your business why because that is your brand identity so you look at all these top brands that we have these top companies that we have like um for instance um i don't at some of the banks that you have in um south africa or in zambia they have their logo when you see that logo you know that you, you, you don't even have to say the name you know, you know that that logo, this is the company, you know, this is the brand. Do you understand? So this logo gives your 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 um your brand an, an identity. Do you understand? I'm trying to see some of let me look at okay. So some of us have logo, some of us do not have logo. Okay, but some of us that do not have logo, what you can do is I would advise that you go to Canva. So Canva C A N V A. C A N V A. Canva, you can use Canva to create a logo for your brand. There are lots of templates on Canva that you can customize, you know, just customize, do some editing, and you know, design for your own brand. So create logos like that for your brand to give it an identity. Then you know the personality of your brand has to also speak for itself. Do you understand me? So these are these are the things that you need to note for you to define your brand social voice. Now, what does success mean to you? How do you define success? Please, um, the certificate link should be dropped immediately so that people can start filling the certificate form, please. So that they have time to do that. Now, how do you define success? The first thing is growth in sale. If you, if the, if you, are, if you are looking at defining success, it's defining success for you. Does it mean growth in sales and traffic? Does it mean improving customer service? Calls answered or star rating? Does it mean increase in brand awareness, reach, and number of mentions? Whatever it is for you. Do you understand? Whatever you are writing down, you know, that defines um, your business success, please ensure that you have them stated. Now, why am I saying this? So, for instance, let me give an example. So, um, Grace, okay, let me use Grace for, 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 for an example. So, Grace is saying, oh, 
um, in the next um, three months, I want to be able to um, increase growth in sales and traffic in 60, 60 or 65 percent. Now, if at the end of three months, Grace is not able to meet up to this 65 percent. Now, Grace will have to go back and look at, OK, what are the things that I missed? What are the things that I, I, I left out? What are the things that I need to improve on? How do I ensure that I meet up to 65 or greater than 65 percent in the next quarter? So by the time you have all of this, your goals and, you know, how you've defined your success, if by the time you have all of this written down, you can be able to measure rightly. You measure if you are progressing or if you are not. Do you understand? So you have to be able to define what success means for your brand. What more question? I know I've asked this question before, but let me ask it again. Which social media platform does your business use? Please put it right there in the chat. So Charlene is even saying Canva is affordable. And she said that she pays $129 in a month. You can imagine. You, you, you don't even have to wait. You don't even have to even pay to create one for yourself. Yes, you have um, some free templates that you can utilize. Yes, you can use some free templates on Canva to create a logo for yourself. But if you have to pay, you can also, you know, just create a very special logo for yourself, you know, using Canva. And, you know, download using PNGD. Very, very important. Um, you see, so Unguni says, I use Canva to design my logo for free. You can imagine. So I just, just you can use Canva to create your logo for free. Thank you, Le thank you guys. I see all of the responses. Um, Mazi Buku says she uses um, Facebook and LinkedIn for her business. Sand Sandra says Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All right, ladies. Um, Mantele says Facebook. Um, our business is using Facebook. Thank you so much for that. Now, let's take a look, look at some of the social media platforms that we have. So we have Twitter. Twitter is good for quick fire conversations and as a PR tool, yeah? So all you need to do is go on Twitter, create a professional looking profile. You have your header image, you know, create your username, then get noticed and join conversations by using relevant hashtag. That's one thing I love about Twitter. You can use hashtags, you know, join trending conversations, you know, even you can you can converse with people that do not even necessarily follow you. Yes. Then you can ask questions and run polls. Yes, you can run polls. So if you have different for instance you are um, you sell dresses or you sell shoes you want to just get feedback from your customers and say oh which did they like more did they like the blue did they like the red did they like the orange i think you can only add four pictures on twitter yeah so you know use that to run posts on twitter then you can retweet and engage with content your customers would like you know you can retweet you can engage with content your customer would like then you can pin tweets to display important images so you can pin tweets in case your, your followers are not probably are not online at that moment. You can pin your tweets when they come online, they get to save. Facebook is also a very, very interesting and important platform that every business owner should have. It helps customers find you and see what your business is all about. So creating your own Facebook page, it helps you to link your, um, your Facebook to your main website. Yes, you can link your Facebook to your main website. Then also add opening hours and contact details. It is very important that you also add opening hours. Do not have, if your opening hour used to be 8 to 8 a.m. and you change it to 10 a.m., please go back to your Facebook or whatever platform and change it. Please ensure that you update them. Then change, you can change the call to action button anytime you like. Do you want to shop now? Was it buy now? Is it contact? Is it message me? Is it contact? Whatever it is. You can use that and you can use gifts and videos to generate interest and shares then instagram a very good place for you to also share photos and videos yeah you can use your photo caption to tell a story and get people interested now caption is also very important when telling your story please ensure that you use a captivating caption yes your picture might not be up to it, but when I read your caption, you know, there's a way caption drives you to take that action that you want people to take. So please ensure that you, you use, you know, well-captivated captions. Then also go easy on the hashtags. Please do not use too many hashtags on Instagram. Mm -mm. If, you, if you've designed one for your brand, please just stay, stay, stay with it. Do you understand? Then you can also use some very good hashtags, you know, that can help you um, get noticed. So for instance, I know that, there are times when I want to patronize um, people from Instagram 
or maybe a location that I've not been to before. What I do is maybe I want to have a party and I need to get a makeup artist. So I can just go on Instagram and use makeup artist in South Africa or makeup artist in any, any location. You get to see all of them pop out. Do you understand? So it's good to also use some hashtags that would help you stay noticed. Then also follow influencers, brands, or people that you find interesting. Then LinkedIn, you know LinkedIn is also a very good platform, but it's great for recruitment, building a professional network, or connecting with peers. So you create a personal or company page and add your own profile. Encourage your staff, your employees to become your own brand awareness, yeah? Then generate interest by creating special showcase pages, then share product news and thought leadership content. You know, this is what LinkedIn is just basically for. Okay, so I'm going to be posting four questions here again. Guys, I want to get your feedback. So if you if you know that this session has been really interesting for you, if you know that you, um, you've had a great time towards the session, in this session rather, please let me know in the chat. Please let me know in the chat. Um, Dudu is saying, I use Twitter for this. I can remember to follow us on Avid Avant. Please follow them on Avant Avid on, on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you so much, Grace. It's been a great time with you as well. Please let me know if you have questions and let me know what you think about today's session. Has the session been interesting? Has it been yeah, insightful for you? Please put it right there in the chat. So um, if it's, yeah. So, Good TV said the session is great. Thank you so much. It's also been a great time with you guys as well. I love all of the feedback, all of the engagement right there in the chat. And thank you to Johanna, Jane, and Judith. You know, um, it's been an interesting time. Um, do they say thank you, Sandra? You are so brilliant at what you do. Thank you. Thanks to your fantastic team. And then thank you so much, Dudu. Thank you so much for also putting this training together for everyone. So what are your next steps? I know we've spoken about how to build your brand, how to utilize social media to drive sales, how to start, start up your own e-commerce. But, you know, we cannot explain all of this in details, you know, in broader details as we should. So I have this platform that I would recommend that you visit. I call it a Google University. You can learn more at learngdigital.withgoogle.com forward slash digital skills slash courses. Learn digital dots with google.com for slash digital skill for slash courses. This very platform, you also get to learn for free. Yeah, and also get certified from Google. Yeah, so you have to visit all of this platform. Then you can also find us on social media, Facebook, Facebook.com forward slash digital skills for Africa, Twitter, Twitter.com forward slash digital skills AF, and on Instagram, Instagram.com forward slash digital skills AF. And you can also follow Impact Art on all of our platforms, Instagram, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, and Facebook. The links, all of these links that I've mentioned will be dropped in the chat. Please, I hope that the certificate link has been dropped earlier. Please drop the certificate link in the chat so that people can start filling them. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Please do not forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Very important. Again, we are going to be meeting next week, Saturday, same time. Please, please, you do not want to miss the next session. Please stay tuned. Join us for the next session. I see all of your feedback. Um, Montale says, great section and very insightful. Thank you for that. Mutemu say, thank you so much, guys. It was very informative. Amazing. Thank you so much. Mutemu says, very insightful. I'm definitely using all of these tips to grow my business on social media. Way to go, way to go, way to go. Nice one. Thank you so much for that feedback. Charlene says, thank you so much. I learned so much. Mm, nice. Thank you so much for that. Please don't just learn. Like she already mentioned, please ensure that you use all of these things that you've learned today into your business. Um, Martin Bassey, very informative. Um, Rosario says, thank you, Sandra. Great session and, and helpful. Amazing. Thank you so much. I see all of the responses, guys. Rebecca says, very insight, great insight and very helpful. Thank you so much, guys. It's been a great time with you guys today. And please, like I said, do not miss next week's session. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great day. Bye.